What is up, Planeswalkers? Theory 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. And today, we're going to be doing a Patreon request video. So this is from our patron, Chris. Cool guy. And he suggested a deck that is essentially Grixis mid-range with a pirate sub-theme. Um, so we see down here is his initial build. Um, I do love in Arena that you can just have the... Uh, the cards that you don't own. I do wish that they would implement that in the deck builder anyway, um, being able to put cards in that you don't actually own yet, um, and then choose to uh, make them, use, craft them using wild cards later. I think that would be great. But this is the deck I came away with um, after tweaking it a little bit, um, changed a few cards, took out a few cards, bumped up a few numbers. Um, there are like kind of seven, well, six main changes um, and a seventh uh, pseudo change that I'll get to after I just go through the deck. So running three three fatal push that is the premier removal uh, uh low end removal in black right now um very important card to have against the uh the low low end decks um even even just disrupting green is great sensor i'm actually you know screw it, i'm just gonna talk about this card right now so sensor he initially had three negates in the deck and i was finding too often that i was coming up against a lot of creature decks uh, where i just wasn't able to line up my negates very well so then i was like okay well it's a pirate deck let's throw in um the dispersal card uh, whatever the, the heck it is. It's three mana. Da, da, da. Where are you at? There it is. Look out to special. Um, so I had that in for a while. And then, once again, this was... Just, it it didn't line up well all of the time. Because sometimes my opponent would just have four mana. Um, usually the mono red decks. So I ended up throwing in... I, I dropped the counterspell count from three to two because I was trying to be... I found I was being proactive most of the time, um, so I didn't really want the counterspells too much, but I didn't want to detract too much away from his deck's initial vision. Um, so I dropped the counterspell count from three to two, um, and I put in sensor. And the reason I put in sensor is um, the cycling helps with the draw, and where it really helps is against um, the, the on-curve decks. So if my opponents are, you know, casting... Um, Glorybringer on curve to Fairy on curve, things like that, especially the five mana cards. Um, if they're casting those five mana cards on curve, it's very possible that I'm able to play a three drop and hold this up. Um, and, and it's worked relatively well. Um, and then, of course, it, once I get to a point in the game where I don't think it's going to be useful, um, I can cycle it and try to hit one of my bigger end cards. Uh, two, Dire Fleet Poisoner. The initial deck had four. Um, and the reason I cut this down to two is because while the card is a fantastic flash blocker against the... Um, larger decks the the green decks and the the large red decks um i found that one uh it's kind of sad that it doesn't fly two um it only works on attacking pirates so you can't actually block very well against um the steel leaf champion um and three against control it just doesn't do enough even the the additional like flashing it in on your turn to give an attacking pirate plus one plus one it just didn't do enough um i still do have it uh, as a two of because i do think it's worth it um to flash in block against uh some of the larger threats. Also, it makes a it, it made a funny thumbnail, and I I really wanted that thumbnail. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's why I dropped it down to two. Um, otherwise, it is still just like a fine bear. Uh, the fact that it has death touch means it can attack with impunity a lot of the time. For glint sleeves, the initial deck I believe only had three. Um, the card's just too good in a mid range strategy to not run for. I think, um, and it having having more does help with um a different card that I added, harness lightning, um, as well as uh, aether hub. Um, I, so I did have to add Aetherhub because I didn't have the perfect mana base for this because acquiring r rare lands is not fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think this card is just too good in a mid-range deck to not have four. Um, three Kite Self Rebooters. The, the card just disrupts people. Um, this, this essentially is why I was able to justify taking out the negates is that I, I felt Kite Self Rebooter was kind of an active negate. Um, obviously the card can die and you can, they can get their card back, but it's not necessarily like the card you're, you're taking is probably going to be one that they're going to be wanting to use at a certain point in the game. Um, and they might not be getting it back at a point with it that they like, and it just, it just takes them off their, their game plan. You know, they, they keep a hand with a certain curve and you, you disrupt that curve. And I think that's, that's all that really matters. Dire Fleet Daredevil is a cool card. It's, it's slap caster mage, uh, as some people call it. It doesn't have flesh. Um, but you get to cast something from your opponent's graveyard. The problem that happens most of the time is like there just aren't always cards that your opponents are playing that you want to cast so that's essentially my only problem with the card the fact that it has first strike um is good it can deal with the uh the pesky knights and the fact that it's not uh black or white means that uh the knights aren't going to get buffed um 
So it, it's it's a fine card. Uh, it just doesn't get all of the value that I would love. That's why it's only two. Um, three Harness Lightning. Um, this was Lightning Strike um, in the original deck. Um, and I took it out for Harness Lightning for two reasons. The first reason is that um, I knew I was going to be running an additional Glint Sleeve. Uh, and I knew I was going to be running Aether Ups because of my meta base situation. So I figured I was going to be having some Energy Matter cards anyway. Um, and that means Harness Lightning could potentially hit bigger things. Or I can just use it to hit a smaller thing and have leftover energy for one of the other cards. Additionally, even though it can only hit creatures, um, I wasn't finding that like I needed the burn um, against like control style decks. I because I had the high-end curve, right? If I didn't have uh, the the Nikki Bees and the uh, the Scarab Gods, then I would have felt I needed some sort of burst damage. But because I have those heavy hitters late game, um, I didn't feel that the the potential going to the Dome of Lightning Strike was uh, was worth the the lack of interaction that the energy from Harness Lightning brings. Four total Sailor of Means. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> this should be one thing. Um, Sailor of Means wasn't in the original deck. And a few reasons I put it in is, one, it's a pirate. There's not actually, like, pirate matters cards in this deck, um, but it's a pirate, and it does a fine job blocking. It is a 1-4 for a 3. Um, unfortunately, it's not a 2-4, so it's not going to kill very many things, but it, it can very easily block things like Scrap Heap Scrounger. Um, it even blocks a um, the Goblin Chain Roller. Um, obviously, your opponent can kill it, but if they're using an attack and a burn spell to kill a Sailor of Means... Um, plus you have the treasure, it works out pretty well for you. Um, additionally, I was finding that um, I did want to run about 24 lands. You could probably make an argument for running 25 or even maybe 26 in this deck, um, just because you do have that high end. Um, but I wanted to, to maintain a relatively mid curve. Um, and while doing so, I was finding that I, I wanted a little bit more consistency in being able to get my, my high end drops. So the fact that this adds a treasure does help. Um, then we have uh, Lannery Storm, another person who just makes a treasure. I never sacrifice the treasures <laughs> because I just want to be able to have that consistency, um, especially since the treasures also help fix the mana, um, and the mana is not fantastic because rare lands are annoying to get. Um, but Lannery Storm, um, only a two of. She's legendary, so I don't really want a ton of her clocking my hand. Um, I've had exactly one game, I think, where um, I drew both, and luckily the first one get, got killed, so I was able to like, oh, okay, cool, I just play the other one. Um, she has haste, you know, so she's a she's a relatively quick beater against uh, control. They're going to have to deal with her at some point. Um, and she does kind of ramp you into your um, higher-end cards. We are running Vrask's Contempt. Let me go scroll. There we go. We're running three Vrask's Contempt because, like Fatal Push, this is the high-end black removal. Um, gets rid of whatever you want, and it gains your life. It, there's no real expl explanation needed. Hostage Taker. Like, the reason to play this uh, deck <laughs> is Hostage Taker. Like, <laughs> I would even maybe call it a still... Uh, 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 Grixis Bolus Pirate Midrange deck if it just had this as a pirate. Like, this card is so good. Um, six mana uh, against aggro, right? You get you get to take one of their two drops. Uh, you get to play it. So that's like a three total body swing, right? You added to the board, took from their board, and added to your board again. Uh, this card is just stupid. Um, against control decks that aren't just playing Teferi, um, you can take their uh, Torrential Gearhawks or the Scarab Gods. Obviously, you're not going to be able to necessarily... Um, uh, t -t 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 cast them immediately so theoretically they could get double value off of their uh, torrential gear hulk which is something you need to keep in mind um, they will re-enter the battlefield uh, once this gets removed but uh, the card is uh, just just stupid good it, the stats are a little low but it's fine two nikki bees the ravager uh, the card the card's good <laughs> <laughs> also like he wanted it in the deck so um, I, I did take out I think he was running two god pharaohs and I took one out because I felt that was a little bit too much. Um, I don't think we need too much of a high end. I think this... I, I'm counting Nicol Bolas the Ravager as high end and not Hostage Taker. Um, because you... I feel like you play this on curve a little bit more often than you play this on curve. Maybe. Um, but also because Bolas has the activated ability and whatnot. Um, but honestly, I do think this is enough high end uh, in the deck. Um, one, God Pharaoh, because it's a Nicol Bolas deck with pirates. That's kind of the point. It's keeping at least one in. Um, and then Scarab God. Scarab God's a good card. It That's that's the whole reason. It's a good card. I mean, you know, you could go for, like, um, stealing things from you, pirate booty aspect. But um, I did take out a few cards. I took out Glorybringer. Um, 
for a few reasons. One was to lower the curve a little bit. As I said, I don't think we need that many high-end cards. Um, two, I don't have the card, and I don't really want to spend on it. I mean, if I was planning on making a dragon deck, then I probably would have. But I'm not necessarily planning on making a dragon deck because I have so many videos slated right now. Um, so many videos in the queue that I don't think I'll have time before the wipe, which is hilarious. Um, and three, because the card is good and I wanted to lower this deck's um, overall like play rating so that when I was queuing, I didn't go up against a lot of really, really good decks. Because that was a problem I was finding. I'm playing a lot of good cards and a lot of not as good cards. Uh... Or I should say not as played cards, let's say. Um, so I was finding that the deck's deck rating for some reason was a little higher than I wanted. Um, for that same reason, I actually took out the entire sideboard. Um, the sideboard had... Uh, it had, like, Angrath and a few other, like, high-played cards. And I realized I'm only going to play this in free play. Um, and I, I think a deck like this should only be played in free play. Um... I, I don't think that this is going to be a deck that's competitive because there is a Grixis mid-range deck, and that deck is just bad. <laughs> and of course, I'm not meaning to uh, say that this deck is bad, but I'm saying, a like this is this is an FNM deck, right? This is a deck you can take your, to your FNM and probably do fine depending on your meta. The Grixis mid-range deck is a deck that's played at like GPs, right? <laughs> um, so that's that's where I kind of think the competitive meta should be. Um, so I don't think this deck should be played there. Um, and for that reason, I, I took out the the sideboard. Um, let's see. I also took out Ruin Raiders. Uh, Ruin Raider, for those who do not know, is a 3-drop. I should have just hit Creature as well. Ruin Raider. There we go. Uh, so it's essentially like a, a Dark Confidant. It's a, it's a card that gets you the, it gets you card advantage um, for loss of life. But it's based on the converted mana cost, and I, even running only a single God Pharaoh, I did not want to ever hit God Pharaoh off this card. So, like, that was one of the first cards I cut. I was like... I have too much high end. I'm going to kill myself with this card. So I, I just took it out for that reason. Um, if you end up like lowering the curve and making it a little bit more piratey, piratey mid range um, and fewer high end cards, um, I would say Ruin Raider is probably a really good card to keep up that card advantage. But um, we already have card advantage from, well, all of, obviously our high end, but also from Glint Sleeve. So I didn't think that we needed that or wanted it because of the damage we would take. Um, I believe that that is it for the changes. Um, for the, the like main changes. And then the, the meta base is kind of a mess. Uh, and that's entirely because rare lands are stupid and annoying to get. Uh, I actually, I did craft. I think I crafted like three rare lands. Like I crafted one of these, crafted, I think a second catacomb and a sulfur falls. Like I crafted three cards for this, uh, or three lands. I crafted other cards for this deck. <laughs> I crafted like both of these, you know. Um, but <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to use all my rares, because I have other decks to make, darn it. Um, but yeah, so that's the deck. And yeah, let's let's hop into free play with it. it it's been doing fine. Um, essentially, essentially, the only thing I ever get screwed on is my mana. <laughs> Which isn't great. Going against Pap's Trap? I don't... I feel like that's... I feel like that's a bad thing. Um, yeah, I only ever get screwed on mana. Like, my curve's usually fine. Uh, we're going second here. They're playing with Teferi Face, which doesn't bode well for me. But yeah, for whatever reason, I, I do come up against, like... I, I've came up with, against a ton of Mono Red. Oh, this is actually a good hand. Cool. Uh, turn one, I'll probably just play Evolving Wilds for... Let's see, I have double black in the deck. I don't think I have double anything else. Hey, look, it's Mono Red. I'm gonna play a Swamp turn one. Um... Yeah, so, like, this deck comes up against, like, nothing but Mono Red and Blue White Control. <laughs> which is, like, one of the reasons... Hey, it's a free booter. Um, which is, like, one of the reasons I cut the sideboard. Like, I was like, well, maybe maybe the sideboard is a thing I can cut. Because I was looking at the deck to actually make it... Like, I was looking at the deck to make it worse. And that's not something that should be, like, a thing. <laughs> like, I don't know how they match this deck. I mean, obviously, Glintsley Siphoner, good card. Fatal Push, good card. Like, the removal I have, good card. I'm running a lot of highly played cards. No one's playing this. No one's playing some other things that I'm playing. Why am I facing a bunch of mono red? <laughs> I don't want it. I don't need it. Uh, I will push that, though. The, the, the Bowman Curry is stupid. I can't wait till it's gone. I think I hate that more than Chain Roller, honestly. 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Pap trap. All right. So my opponent's gonna play. Oh, he didn't play anything. Oh, that's so good for us. Um. Oh man, do I want to play a glint sleeve now? I don't guarantee this. If I play evolving wilds, I'm not doing anything though. I think I do just play the glint sleeve here. An argument could be made to play kite sail. Because Glintsleeve, Glintsleeve does die to Chain Whirler. So an argument could actually be um, Kitesail. Another argument, honestly, could just be hold up Dire Fleet. Right? Dire Fleet blocks pretty much anything. So if they play an Oncrop, I can just be like, surprise! You know what? I think I think I'm going to do that. Uh, the thing is, if they play if they play Chain Whirler on their turn, because it's still a fine card on curve, because it's still 3 mana 3 through the first strike, stupid card um that does one damage oh don't let me forget um if they play that then i've wasted my turn so you know what? I, I will i will go ahead and, and free loop Let's see if i just take the burn spell from them or maybe they have like the the keld card maybe they have that that instead so it does look like they're either reading the card or they're killing it. i mean they're they're in bronze so maybe maybe this isn't like a straight up mono red deck like the a, a tiered one um but Maybe they're new, and they just crafted for, for Mono Red. Um, even if they kill it, I st should still see their hand. So that's... I'm still getting information, so it wasn't worth anything. Sure, I'll choose this. Okay. So it's not Mono Red. It is Red Black. Okay. Sure, sure. Did you draw a card? You did. Carry Zev. Sure. Unfortunately, I cannot kill Carry Zev with my Menace Girl. Um, I can play Lannery. And I can attack freely um, in order to, you know, quote-unquote rip. But I don't think that does anything for me. Unless this disintegration is going to hit something of mine. Is that an instant or sorcery? It's an instant, okay. I guess the question is, what would I prefer to hit? I would like Glinsleep to live to get me to draw cards in this matchup. I, I just can't block that, and I'm not going to block the 2-1. So maybe I do just play Lannery here? No, the question is, do I attack? I think I just do to get the to get the treasure. Yeah, I mean I think that's fine. Yeah, I think I think my opponent is just new and has I don't know if they net deck because I haven't seen enough of their deck. Um But I mean these are these are cards that are just like commonly played, you know, so it, it's possible that they did. And just end the turn. Um, and I, I should say, I, I don't have a problem with net decking, like, at all. Um, some people... I am better at playing decks than I am at making them. Like, I'm sure I, I, I modified this guy's... Chris's deck horribly. Um, but... I, I would much rather find a deck online, copy that deck, play it a little, figure out what I'm having trouble with, um, and then modify it slightly. Um, that's just kind of... What, how I prefer to do things. Um, like, I want to uh, get back into Modern with an Obzon deck, but one, uh, Obzon is not very strong right now. Um, or, Obzon midrange. Um, not very strong right now, and like, I don't know how to just like make the deck from scratch. So I, I'm having trouble, like obviously, because people don't have the Siege Rhino builds. That's that's what I, uh, what I play. Um, he didn't kill my guy. I'll, I'll attack again. He should, he should kill it. If he plans on killing it, he should kill it before I attack. Alright, well, let's get another treasure. Don't mind if I do. Dude, kill it. I want him to kill it. Sure. I still get a treasure. Should kill it first. Um, so I'll go ahead and play the Evolving Wilds here. I'll play Glint Sleeve. Listen to Soul Die, though. I would much rather him kill something else like i'm playing for the long game my opponent does only have two cards left in his hand um so honestly i think what i'll do is i'll just i'll just play direfully next turn because i want i want him to kill that instead of glintsleeve like glintsleeve gets me kind of back in the game um I, i'm not out of the game i just think it's i just think it's better um let's see let's see interesting topic to discuss um Crap, I literally just had it. Oh, right. Mark Rosewater has stated that Nexus of Faith, a card that a lot of people are upset about, has been printed more times than any other mythic. Um, 
in M19. Which, you know, I believe, I don't think he has any reason to, to lie about that specific fact. Um, and he's looking to kind of assuage, I believe is the, the correct word I'm looking for, uh, the outrage uh, of Nexus Fate's price. Um, and I, I think it's kind of fair outrage, considering people didn't know that that was the case. Um, but, oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I could have I could have flashed both of these in. I could have flashed both in, blocked. Opponent would have probably killed one of them. Oh, yeah, man. That was that was dumb of me. I just, I always forget that treasure can make mana. Um, let's go with black. Yeah, black. I mean, black is the, like the only double color in here, I believe. Um, but it's possible that because we're not told, like, how much... Ooh, hello. Well, that's going to name Pirate. And I think I'm going to steal your carry zip. Ah, oh, but I want to save it for something better, but I don't know if this person's playing... Like, like I would want to save it for something like Hazard or Rekindling Phoenix or something, but I don't know if my opponent has one of those. Also, I didn't flash in Dire Fleet. I'm a dumb person. Um... I could just steal it. I could just steal it. And it, they're probably going to kill Hoss's Taker. Now nah, wait. I'm, I'm a patient person. I'm not under enough pressure for me to actually care. Um, and of course that could end, end in my death, but... <laughs> Cast Levi. And I know it's Say Levi. I speak. Un peu de français. Un peu de français? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So now I'm going to do the play that I said I should have done last turn. I'm going to flash both of these in and attempt to block. The monkey resolves. Weird, creepy monkey. Alright. Make it black. You don't have a thing. That girl is poison. <laughs> um... So what I think is speculate. People were speculating uh, that the the supply of Nexus Fate um, wasn't high enough to meet demand, um, and because of that speculation, a lot of people were buying it out. And because of those buyouts, things got even more expensive. This is speculation, dude. I, I'm not an MTG Finance person. Go to some MTG Finance YouTube video if you want to know about that stuff. Oh, he kills it before you even get a chance. Wow. I mean, that saves saves me from casting the other one, so I don't need to. I might still. I probably will still. I will. Um, so, you know, then, then like, the, the price spikes, but it turns out that maybe it wasn't necessary for the price to spike because people just actually didn't know that it was fine. Um, let's see. Playing the bubble wells. Do I want to just hostage take this? Ugh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regret it so bad if my opponent plays, like, anything good. So, I, I think I don't, honestly, which is kind of sad, but... I'm just going to use this now. I'm going to get an island. I don't think I have a reason to attack. Don't kill my glint sleeve. I need this card. It needs to draw me cards. Play something big that can't attack this turn so I can take it. <laughs> and then don't kill my guy. Unfortunately, I wouldn't block. My opponent might not know that. But I, I wouldn't block because I need the Glint Sleep to live. Because my opponent is now on four cards and I'm on one. So My opponent might not realize that I'm not going to block. They concede? Really? What? What was in their hands? It must have been nothing but five drops, right? Like, that's that's weird. So yeah, I don't think that that was a, a stock mono red list. So maybe maybe uh, removing the sideboard did what I wanted it to. <laughs> um, yeah, the Nexus of Fate thing. I, I still think I still think making unique buy box promos is kind of dumb. Going against Patat Ma, Batit Ma, Bat, Bat, whatever. Um, I I think it's I think it's um, I, I don't know. I, I don't like exclusive things in Magic to begin with. Ooh, we're going first, too. This is not bad. We'll play Sulfur Pulse turn one. 
And probably Aether up turn two. I could sense or something. We just play Glint Sleeve. I, don't know, I think this is probably fine. I, I, uh, depending on what they play on turn one, will determine what I play. If they're uh, they're blue white, I guess I hold sensor until like turn five. Um, yeah, I don't know. This th this might me uh, make them think we're also in wizards or something. So let's see what land they drop. Another another bronze player. Man, I'm. Is that bronze or is that starter? Because <laughs> that might be starter. Interesting. Um, so I'm going to go with Aether Hub, I think. Because I don't want to put this on Rogue. I want it to be on that. So we'll go with Aether Hub and then play Glint Sleeve. And if I need to, I can use Aether Hub with the Glint Sleeve mana. Or with the Glint Sleeve energy. I mean, as you guys can see, this is essentially just, like, a piratey mid-range deck that happens to have bolus and stuff. Okay. Blue-white. But what are you doing? That's what I want to know. Okay, nothing yet. Probably going to seal away my Glint Sleeve. This does have flash. Ooh, hello, Nikki B. I'll go ahead and put this on Pirate. The Irate Pirate. Um, this does have flash, so honestly, probably just end up uh, attacking here and holding up sensor. Um, I don't need to sensor a seal away, I don't think, um, because I'm probably going to need the Aether Hub mana. Um, so I, I assume something like seal away is coming. Hey, I was right. Um, so I could censor this. I still might censor this. Because I have Rask's Contempt, I don't have double black. I told you, my mana base is garbage. Um, you know what? I, I think I will censor this. <laughs> I'm tap this, though. Okay, go away. I want I want my Glint Sleeve to live. My Glint Sleeve is a good card. Because what I can do, theoretically, is um, next turn I can still draw an additional card. Um, it, it, provided it, it's still there. Um, I could draw an additional card. And then attack first with Glint Sleeve. Like, if I have a land, play the land. Attack first with Glint Sleeve. Get that energy. Play Bolas. Theoretically. In a magical world. Probably shouldn't even be playing Unclaimed Territory. Honestly, I should be playing something else. Dude, blow up one of my lands. I don't give a crap. <laughs> Take your turn. Search for Ascanta. Cool, cool. Means a... I, I will take this action. I think that's probably fine. Got a Summit. Summit does not actually work, unfortunately. Very unfortunately. But I do still get to hit. And I can flash in. <clears throat> excuse me. I can flash in Dire Fleet. Um, I do hope this game doesn't go too long because I would like to play another game with this deck. Um, at least one more. I mean, the deck, the deck is totally fine. It's. It trades in some of the um, the typical mid range cards for um, for pirates, and pirates are cool. I thought Ixalan block was um, a very I appreciated the Ixalan block um, in a Vorthos way. I loved the story. I read the, the entire story of Ixalan. Uh, I thought it was awesome. Um, I love the way they mesh um, like the the conquistador stuff um, with with magic. I thought that was really cool. Um, Tap this for black. What are you doing? Um, I, I thought it was a fun. I thought it was a fun, fun set. Dude, counter this. Do it. Oh my god, counter this. Oh, I didn't counter. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm just gonna attack first. See if they do something dumb so I can resolve a Nikki B. Ooh, I got another sensor, which actually makes me kind of want to not care about Nikki B. I'm gonna attack. Seal away to your heart's content, my friend. But I have sensor, and I think I'm just gonna hold up sensor, honestly. I mean, that sounds like dumb, maybe. But if I just sensor a, uh, a Teferi, I think it's pretty darn good. Alternatively, I play Nikki B. Probably gets countered by like a syncopate for two. Yeah, you know what? I, I think it's safer just to hold up the sensor. I, I have been liking sensor. 
Opt, sure. Sure, sure. I feel like I didn't actually finish the discussion on Nexus Fate, but like I care I care so little about standard. <laughs> I mean, this sounds callous. I care so little about the standard metagame in paper. Like eh. Arena is my first foray back into the standard and it's it's fun. It's fine. Just I, I prefer I prefer EDH, modern and kind of legacy. I've been too busy to keep up with legacy and modern, but yeah. All right, let's see. Do it. Play Teferi on Curve. You suck and I hate you. You're supposed to do what I wanted. I'll just keep drawing cards. I'll keep attacking keep drawing cards, dude. I do not care. Ooh, another Dire Fleet. Cool. This is another card that I can just play end of turn if they refuse to play Teferi. Got a Fatal Push. That Fatal Push is garbage. If I want, I can Dire Fleet, <laughs> dire fleet Daredevil. <laughs> Go ahead and attack. See if he settles the wreckage me. If he does, I'm fine with that. Get some lands. Actually, I could just censor that. He does settle the wreckage. Oh, I can't censor it. He has a mana. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's fine. Unfortunately, this doesn't have flash. So I will get a swamp and an island. I have no idea if that was correct, but those are what I got. Um, so I think... I think I'm going to cast Dire Fleet on, <laughs> on his opt. Is that stupid? It might be stupid. Oh god, I'm still in damage. I always, I always forget they make you go through the rest of combat. No, god dang it, I hate the auto tapper so much. Tap this, I have it. I have it for a reason. Tap this. Dire Fleet. I still have sensor available. Like that opt, please. I could have technically waited, but like you can't, it doesn't have flash, so you can't actually do anything. Oh, you have to pay for it? Ah, oh, I forgot. Whoops. And just be like, oops. Pretend I messed up. I should read the card. I really should read the card. But I, I, I can't let him just resolve to fairy. So. Did he cycle sensor? Sure. Search for Ascanta. What's he doing? No, guys, it was it was totally uh, it was totally uh, planned. Uh, I just wanted to get an exile. That's all. That's it. Yeah, that's all. That's all. To be fair, uh, in that case, I should have exiled that one wreckage. My folly knows no bounds. Decided to keep it on top. Looks like. I've been really sloppy with my hand here. There we go. Cast to fairy so I can counter it. You, I hate you. Throw this out. I might counter it. I might get settled the wreckage again. I'm fine with either. Hmm, let's resolve. That's fine. Drone Catacoon. Go ahead and attack. I have seven mana, so that's cool. Should get in there. I mean, I technically have them on a three turn clock. They aren't drawing more lands, and I am, so. Yeah, sure, damage. Heck yeah, man. The question, though, is do I cast Nikki B? And I think the answer is yes. Um, because if Nikki B does get countered, I can theoretically Scarab got it back. Um, and I do have Sensor still up. Let's cast Nikki B. Let's do this. Then one of these. That seems fine. I assume this is going to get countered. Don't counter it. You have Fumigate in your hand. Just hold on for Fumigate. Yeah, it's fine. 
That is fine. Sure. So obviously, if I had negate in this situation, negate would be bad, right? Um, but, gosh darn it, I hate my stupid sink. My sink makes that noise just periodically, and I hate it so much. I still haven't found um, a good place to, like, record just yet. I have a desk, uh, but I don't have a desk chair, so I'm still recording on the floor. <laughs> Prime YouTuber right here. Um, oh, gosh, I totally forgot. Um, I've, like, finalizing my uh, PC build, um, and I should be ordering those parts soon. I should be ordering them, like, this week, so I should be getting them within, like, two weeks, hopefully. Um, so that will be spicy. My opponent isn't doing anything. What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing, and why is the answer nothing? <laughs> hey, it's Captain Lannery Storm. Um, I will cast Captain Lannery Storm. Give me a red. Give me a colorless, I guess. Give me a whatever you want. Sure, blue, I don't care. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't have cast that, actually. That was, that, so here's why I was stupid. I had them on a two-turn clock anyway. This doesn't up my clock. If I held out Lannery Storm, um, I could have cast her after these things probably get settled anyway. Right? I, I, I do actually think that this was a bad play. Although she does give me a treasure. No, I, I think I'm still wrong. I think I, I'm pretty certain it was still wrong. Because um, I'll probably get settled here, and then I won't have anything but the Scarab God. Um, yeah, yeah. This is this is, this is is why I'm stupid. I don't play decks that are, that are supposed to attack this early, alright? <laughs> sure, I'll just get the rest of my basics out. I have no more basics. To be fair, now I can have a Scarab God and reanimate Nikki B. So that's cool. Uh, I could cast Scarab God here, but I, I don't actually think it's good because if if they're if the card that they have in their hand is cast out uh, or something, then I wouldn't it wouldn't be good. So my opponent now is able to flip uh, Search for Escanta into the Sunken Ruin. Okay, so they do that. So now they do have things to do on my turn. Um, only five cards in hand. Still haven't. Oh no, are they like have they been playing around Sensor this whole time? Because that would be really stupid and annoying. Like, if they cast Teferi now, I hate you so much. I mean, I I, I have Thrasus Contempt. Sure. I, I hate you for casting it now. Like, if they top deck that, that's stupid. If they've been playing around center this entire time, I hate you so much. But, I have Thrasus, so it's fine. So you're going to activate it. No I'm going to Thrasus it. Goodbye. It would, it would be so stupid if my opponent Keep was playing around freaking center this entire time. <laughs> um, but opponent is going to have only three lands up. So center is probably going to be able to stop a counterspell on Scarab God, which is nice. So I can play Scarab God. Two, five. Yeah, so I can play Scarab God and activate it and still have center mana up. So that's good. Because so I can also play Nikki B. And Nikki B, I'm pretty sure, is the best card. It's the only card in my graveyard. All of my other things are exiled. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Got rid of... You can't feel the ruin up. Oh my god, I don't have any other uh, basics. If my opponent decides to feel the ruin me, that's gonna suck. Okay, well, I have another thing. Fucking... <laughs> I could put god. Wait, wait. What does this card even do? It doesn't even do anything. I could put god. Fuck off with god. God's funny. I'll show him what's what. I might try to counter it, in which case I can censor. And I would... Oh, cool. Cool. Awesome. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hold up, um... On the Nikki B activation. Because my opponent could have, um... Dissipate still, and I would rather... Or not... Not dissipate. Uh, disallow. Um, and I'd rather try and force him to do something else. Let's see, does my opponent have... Yep, there's the approach. I could counter it now. So I... 
I could counter it now. And he just dies, right? Yeah, yeah. I counter it now. He, he does. He just dies. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. So usually you're only supposed to counter the second one because of reasons. Um, but he just dies. So. I'm going to have to pay mana. Oh. I thought I, had to, I, thought I needed more mana for that. But that was fine. Fine. Or, oh, I had enough mana. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, but my opponent is dead on board now. So. Um, they would have gained seven life, so this this way I, I still I win. Get um get tracked. Was that only two games? Was that two games? This is three games. It was mono red. It was this? I don't think there was a third game. <sighs> this was a patron video. We're at forty minutes, but you know what? I, I I'm playing another one. Gosh gosh darn it. I beat, I beat actual blue-white control. To be fair, I beat blue-white control with, like, Nicobolus and Scare God. But still, I had a little bit of aggro early on. GF... Siandra 5? I... I don't know what that name means. I, I appreciate uh, a lot... Why am I going against only people in bronze? <laughs> maybe maybe they realize my deck is garbage. I don't know. Um, I can Sulfur Falls into, a, like... A, Island? I need Swamp, though. <sighs> now I gotta more than that. I had Sailor of Means, but the good the Godfarer was just, like, not getting cast. Let's see if my opponent's gonna do things. But, so, so, I guess, like, my rank is high, but my deck is low. So I'm going up against people with, like, a low rank, but high deck. Um, sure, this seems better. Ooh, opponent had to mold a five. This is probably not going to be a real game. Or I'm just going to die, because I've said that before. Uh, oh, man, I really want to keep this. <laughs> I like just playing lands. Uh, you know, I'll keep it on top. I, I might regret keeping it on top and just, like, run out of steam, but... But I think it's the correct thing to do. It just guarantees. And plus, my opponent is only on five cards. <laughs> See how this goes. Let's see if it's mono red. It's not. Maybe it's mono black. Maybe it was the one arm man. Oh, right. I, I really appreciate uh, when you guys, like, tell me what the heck my opponent's names mean when I don't understand what they are. Blue black. Interesting. Glint sleep. Sure. That is unfortunate because my opponent can now get more mana. Or more, more cards than me. And I don't appreciate that. So I'm just going to flash this out now. And I will also. Ooh, I can play Storm though. No, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna play a no value Dire Fleet, because then my opponent just can't block, can't attack. Or I can say screw it and just do this, because <laughs> I'm a terrible player. Look, I see pirates. I want to swing with them. All right, pirates don't wait around. Pirates go in and attack. Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. Anyway. Should be getting my new computer soonish. It's gonna run me like a lot of money. But I need a new computer. Especially if I want like to keep making good content. So Like for the very few of you who actually liked the story video, um, I'm just like not able to make those because my crappy laptop just cannot handle um, video editing software. It's just like I'm dying. It crashed so often, and it's like I should I should just uh, not do that. Unfortunately, until I get uh, until I get the means to. Don't kill something. How dare you? Incredibly rude. By the way, I do I do regret. I'll keep that on top. I need I need value. Oh, I didn't kill it. Ooh, I got a glint sleeve of my own. That's what I'm talking about. Value. That's what I'm call. That's what I call volume one or something. I don't know. That's all I will attack here. Um, I hope my opponent uses their removal. So that they don't use removal on these two. Um, go ahead and get in there. Get in there. Looks like my... Hmm? My opponent's thinking about using removal. Do it. Do it. Embrace your anger. You take your rifle place to my side. Terrible Palpatine, but... Uh, you fool. Um... I'm tempted to sack a treasure to like to make them want 
to kill it, but I'm not gonna. Um, I'll play this first. Hey, attack right. Color me surprised. I don't get anything out of it. Oh, I should have tried to. I should have tried to get them to to use it, because then I could have. Like, they're probably gonna fatal push my glint sleeve, right? And if I. Yeah, I probably should have ordered that differently. I probably should have put Glint Sleeve down first. Because I feel like my opponent's just going to push that. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Works out. You're going to draw a card, I assume? Put you on a... Oh, yeah, okay. Put you on 11. I have 2, 4, 6, 8 on board. Potentially uh, 3 more. I have 11 on board. My opponent has to kill something. Or they need to leave up a blocker. I have 11 showing. Okay, sure. Got another blocker. Don't have lands, which is important. So do they attack those, is my question. Because I can double block and first strike will murder your 2-1. Okay, decided not to. That is correct. Um, I will draw a card. I'm not using that for anything else. Save our queens is cool. Another gloom sleeve is also cool. And I can play both. Um, do you have first strike? You don't have first strike. So you could die. Do I care if you do die? I don't think so. Like, I'm getting... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm definitely getting in with Glintsleaf. I'm most likely getting in with Direfleet. So that means they're blocking here and here, which I'm fine with. Or they could have something for a single blue. But I'm, I'm attacking in, right? Like, they have to block... somehow. Sure, I don't I don't care. Those, those triggers don't matter. Because I can wait till after blocks to just decide to use this. Like, the blocks, I think, are that and direfully, yeah. No? Interesting. They want to keep one alive. Um, sure. Take six damage. Um, I'm technically playing, like, into a board wipe, but I don't... I don't think my opponent is playing... A board wipe. Also, they're stuck on three lands, so I'm, I'm not worried at all. all right, I now have two creatures with menace, and a 1-4, and a ton of treasure, which cool. There we go. Sweet. This this deck is fine, right? It's like, it's kind of aggressive early on, and then like, you get to the late game, and you, you like drop a Nicol Bolas, and your opponent's like, what the heck? I thought you were playing pirates. What is this? Right? Um, additionally, I think cutting out the sideboard actually helped me because I was going up. Um, obviously, I, I did go up against a red deck. I don't think it was like typical mono red, um, and I did go up against a, a blue white control deck. And I, I do think that was probably like actual blue white control. But both of my opponents were lower rank than me, so I assumed that they had less experience. And that's not necessarily something that's correct to assume. It's possible they just kind of started, um, so they're like by definition have lower rank. Um, but I think it helped me because I'm I'm not facing like, as tuned decks, it seems. Um, which means, you know, the deck, the deck can have fun. And that's that's what I want. Oh, it's a fake deck, this. Um, and the deck can be fun, right? The deck can be good when it's playing against other decks like it. Decks that are, like, themed, right? Um, it was fun. Thanks, Chris, for the suggestion. I probably would never have played, like, any pirates. I think in, like, super close beta, I played a, a really stupid pirate deck that actually was a combo deck with uh, the, the treasure card. The, the one where you win if you have, like, 10 treasure or some shit like that. Um, and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have touched Pirates, um, unless you suggested that. So, thanks, Chris. Uh, again, thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. Um, Easy Mode, Chris, who made this suggestion. Daniel and Flower Child, um, I really appreciate the support. It helps me maintain sweet, sweet card value uh, in this wonderful game that we all enjoy playing. Um, go ahead and let me know if you liked that video by tapping the like button, adding a subscription to your mana pool, and casting a comment to the comment section down below. And until next time... I will be one.